This week on Maker Update, the Lightswell, the $59 Jetson Nano, folding a bike, a hacker puzzle terminal, and a split head rawhide hammer. Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. I hope you're all doing well. I have to hand it to you guys. It has been a weird and difficult year that just keeps getting weirder, and yet you guys just keep showing up with the most amazing projects. It's awesome. And your creativity is my job security, so it means a lot to me. Thank you, and let's get started with the project of the week. Check out this light installation by Brian Harms. He calls it Lightswell, and it's an excellent example of how diffusion and texture can transform the look of NeoPixel lighting strip. What we have here is an Alexa-controlled lighting fixture made from 80-20 aluminum extrusion, each aluminum beam has a strip of addressable LEDs with a generous common spacing of 30 LEDs per meter. Spaced between them, you have these laser cut sheets of cardstock that form a sort of wave pattern. It sort of reminds me of the ribs inside an old airplane wing with the skin taken off. The shape was created using the grasshopper environment in Rhino 3D modeling software. For the electronics, Brian is using an Arduino MKR1000 board along with the Arduino Create IoT Cloud to help him with the Alexa integration. What's cool about the way he's done it is that he can use voice commands to do more than just turn it on or off. He can change colors, he can start a rainbow mode, he can even change the animation rate of the rainbow mode by asking for a percentage. The whole thing is super pretty, but honestly, the IoT part might be overkill. A trinket and a toggle button could probably get you most of the way there. For me, the coolest part about this is how he's able to create this big shape that's essentially a stack of paper. 99% of what you're looking at is diffused light. I guess you could say the same thing about any lampshade, but still, it's a concept I'm excited to play with. Now for some news. This week, NVIDIA announced a new version of their Jetson Nano single board computer priced at $59. The original Nano was introduced in March of 2019 as a $99 board for maker and robotics projects. It competes against the Raspberry Pi and offers a lot of GPU muscle, making it an attractive choice for machine learning applications. This new $59 option seems essentially the same as the original, but with half the RAM. It's due out at the end of this month, and you can learn more using the link in the show notes. Now for more projects, Laura Kampf has made some incredible and often ridiculous bike projects. This time, she's putting her own spin on a folding commuter bike. The goal was to make a bike that she could bring on the train, which has a limit of how many full-size bikes are allowed, but no limit on folding bikes. The bike rims do have to be 20 inches or smaller though, so Laura went with a smaller BMX style bike as her base. She then shows how she precisely measured and cut the bike in half, she created a retractable spring-loaded mechanism to lock and unlock the frame together. My favorite hack though is how she repurposed two sections of roller chain to act as the folding hinge. She welded the ends of the chain section to some steel flat bar and then cut the bar in half at the same angle as the cuts on the bike. She makes it all look so simple, but there are a dozen places where small choices make a huge difference. Another project I really liked this week was this 3D printed hacker console by Perkavirides. It's more like a hacker puzzle made to look like a Blade Runner terminal. It was created for the Disobey 2020 hacker conference in Finland. The design includes a small screen, a camera, a keypad, and a card reader, all connected up to a Raspberry Pi inside. It sort of reminds me of my cocktail machine concept, but without the cocktails. The idea is that people at the conference would hack the card reader, put their lanyards together to decipher a secret code, and then enter the code in the terminal to see if they can successfully break through. I love this idea, and the design is ripe for repurposing for other projects, you can find the STL files for it over on Thingiverse. Now for some tips and tools. On the Cool Tools channel, Sean Michael Reagan shows off this split head hammer that you can open up and customize with different materials. The idea is that this is a soft faced hammer for hitting more delicate materials that you don't want to damage. It ships with rawhide faces, but you could swap them out for nylon or aluminum, or in extreme situations, cake. A reminder that New York's Empire State Maker Fair is coming up next weekend. There will be a student day streamed online on October 16th. The main day of programming will be on Saturday the 17th from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. with a keynote from Adafruit's Lemore Freed at 1 p.m. Eastern. 
On Hackaday, there's a great piece by Lewin Day on how to choose the right real-time clock for your project. On their own, microcontrollers aren't great with keeping track of the exact time. If you need a project that keeps to a schedule, you'll need an RTC. But you have a few options depending on how accurate, how cheap, or how efficient you need the module to be. On the Make Build Modify channel, there's a great 14 minute long deep dive on tape measures full of tips and tricks that are bound to surprise you. Using it as a compass, making cut lines on pipe, scribing a line, or even using the tape to pick things up off the floor. In the latest edition of Gareth Branwin's Tips, Tools, and Shop Tales newsletter, he includes some great ideas for finding the center line on a pipe, hacking needle nose pliers with rubber bands, and reviving old paintbrushes. And in case you missed it, the new month means a new monthly Adafruit edition of Maker Update hosted by Tyler Weingarner. This month we have a MIDI Melody Maker, some great Halloween projects, and a look at the new Adafruit Matrix Portal M4, a CircuitPython powered internet RGB matrix display driver board. You can find the new episode on the Adafruit YouTube channel. For this week's DigiKey Spotlight, check out their recent video on voltage regulators. These are an essential component for any electronic design, but there are many ways to put them to use. This video covers a lot of territory in a short time. Linear regulators, switching regulators, buck boost converters, and flyback transformers. You'll get a good grasp of the possibilities. All right, and that does it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, Get on the Maker Update email list if you want to. A big thanks to my patrons on Patreon and to DigiKey Electronics for making the whole thing possible. All right? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.